Queensland grouper, who's really similar to a Goliath grouper that you would find in Florida. The difference being their, one of the differences being their range that they're found. So this species, instead of being found in Florida and the Caribbean, is found in the Indo-Pacific. The Queensland grouper is actually the largest teleost fish in the world. So what that means is that he's the largest bony fish. Sharks and rays are still fish. They don't have bony skeletons. They have cartilaginous skeletons. So in terms of fish that skeletons are made out of bone, just like you and I, the Queensland grouper is the largest. He can grow up to about 600 pounds and uh, nine feet in length. So that's a pretty good size fish. Last time that we weighed Eugene, he was about 175 pounds. When we got him, he was approximately a foot in size, and we got him in 2003. So he's at least 12 years old. We estimate that he's probably closer to 13 or 14 is when they're very young, they have a pretty quick growth rate. Another cool thing about Eugene and all Queensland groupers is that they are protogenous hermaphrodites, which means that they are born as female, and later in life, they turn into male, which is a pretty cool thing that a lot of different species of fish do. It's a really interesting reproductive strategy. You might notice that there's some smaller fish, approximately four inches in size, that are swimming in and out of the gills of the other fish and look like they're kind of picking on them. Those fish are called cleaner wrasse, and what you're observing is what we call a symbiotic relationship between two different species. So a symbiotic relationship is a relationship between two animals that's mutually beneficial to both of them. The cleaner wrasse are actually picking off parasites that are always in the water that fish always have on them. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the fish, they're just always there. So it's beneficial to the fish that they're picking at because it's helping to keep them healthy and then it's beneficial for the cleaner ass because they're getting a good meal. Today we were moving Eugene from quarantine back into ocean. We recently finished renovating our ocean exhibit and in in order to do that, we had to take all of the fish out, move them back in quarantine, and in the case of the larger fish, such as the Queensland groupers, we actually had them moved to another aquarium where they held on to them for the six months that we were renovating the exhibit. Then we went and picked them up, brought them back, held them in quarantine for a while, and so today you saw them coming back into their new renovated home. In order to prepare for something like this, you meet together as a team and discuss beforehand the plan of action that you're going to take. So we had beforehand decided that we were going to scoop him up into the stretcher that we had. And then we decide the path through the aquarium that we're going to take, the point where we're going to either you know, move him up through the elevators or if we're going to carry him up through the stairs. You want to take into account the amount of time that that's going to take because you want to have him out of the water for the shortest amount of time possible. We are thrilled to have Eugene back in our big ocean exhibit and he'll be here every day so come on down and check him out. <laughs>